in this YouTube world, we we see a lot of people talking about relationships between black men and black women. You know, and they all have we all have our opinions on on what's needed and what's missing and we have our commentary on the state of how things are going and one thing we can all agree on is the fact that relationships in the black community are in trouble you know we really have a lot of work to do to repair um, the black home but it seems like more than anything we always focus our attention towards money we always talk about well I know for sure the toxic men that's in this space talking about how to deal with a woman the main go to message that they have is stay single don't take women serious make your money stay on your purpose make your money stack it up to the point where you're a six figure earner and then go out and find the, the, the prettiest girl you can find it don't matter if she bring anything to the table because she don't bring nothing to the table. That's what they like to say. Uh, a woman's job is to be pretty and, you know, let you be the man and you're in control. And the reason that you earned the right to be in control of this woman's life is because you've made it to the point where you make a certain amount of money and that's to be respected. And there is not many of you, so you have the right to have more than one woman if you want to and all that other kind of stuff. But one thing you never hear these guys talk about is love. As a matter of fact, I, I've even seen some men say that a man should never fall in love. That's really why we're going to have a, a, in a few years... <laughs> In a few years, it's probably already happening because I know some 50 year old men that's, you know, they already living what I'm about to say. It's going to be a whole lot of 50 year old men out here single trying to live like they 25 years old soon. Because the head honcho is a 50 year old man and he's talking on what women should do, how women should be in a relationship, how women should be as wives. But this man don't have one. So, he has money. He looks like, he look good, you know what I'm saying? He keep himself together, he sharp now. I like the way the man dress sometimes, you know? From the few little clips I done seen. You know? But, for the younger generation that's following him, you got to look at where you're going to end up if you keep following him. If this man had himself together so good and he knows what he wants out of life, he knows so much about relationships and having a wife and all of that other kind of stuff, then why don't he have one? Why don't any of these guys that talk about this red pill stuff. Why don't any of them have a wife? Because true enough, yeah, you will get a lot of women if you have money. But the good women ain't gonna stick. The women that really have their mind on right, they got their head on right, they got a mind of their own, they know what they want out of life, they're not gonna stick around in a loveless relationship just because you got some money. Money is a part of it, but it ain't the whole picture. These guys ain't never talking about how to romance a woman. You never hear them say anything about romancing a woman. It's all about making money and having an image having a, a image like you a baller or having the image of the playboy go get you a, you know stack your money up until you can afford some nice clothes and a nice car and a nice apartment or a nice house and then after that 
just run through and pump and dump. Have your way. They're not going to tell you that. It's really fulfilling having one woman. It's really fulfilling having one good woman on your side that knows you, that can see the value in you on a daily basis. Even when y'all getting into it, even when y'all bump heads, she still see the value in you. She still takes you the way you are because she loves you. Not for your money, but loves you for you. Men to get out there and say all day, every day, a woman don't love you for you. They love you for your money. Well, if you lead with your money, if all you focus on is your money, you're going to attract somebody that's going to help you focus on your money. That's how it go. You don't have no character. You don't have no, no real principles. You ain't a man of principle. All you know how to do is go to work and, and you know, turn a couple dollars over, stack a couple dollars up. If that's all you know how to do, then that's that's all you have to offer. You don't have nothing else that's that's substantial to offer. And I already hear you. I already see you getting ready to type. Well, you gotta have somewhere to stay. Of course you do. But that's like I said, it's only part of it. Romancing your woman is important too. That's why this man has been through a couple divorces in his life. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet. But because he's where he, at, he is in life, he's figured out what works for him. He's figured out how to cope with what he got going on. You know what I'm saying? So now he's teaching everybody else to be like him. And I get it. Some of the stuff he say may be on point. I saw a video last night where he was talking about how if you're a young man in your 20s, you need to go out there and you need to uh, get you a good job. You can't be around here sleeping on the couch all day playing video games. You need to go out there and hustle. You need to go and, and get you a job. You know, if you, if you ain't getting a lot of money at the one job, go get you a second job. Go get you a skill. You know what I'm saying? Go get you some certifications. Go back to school if you want to. You know, all of those things, I'm like, yeah, that's positive. That's good. That's good stuff that you should be telling me in for sure. But after that, what do they do after that? Chasing a bunch of women ain't gonna, ain't, ain't gonna be fulfilling. Unless you're a damaged person and you're trying to fill a hole in yourself. Just telling y'all what I see, man. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all what I see, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna tell y'all this too. I have to check myself when it comes to the romance department. I just had a conversation with my wife the other day because I slip into that to that mode of a man's job is to provide and protect, and I forget about the romance stuff sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just telling y'all, man, hey, I get it. I'm, I'm in a phase right now. I work 50 to 70 hours every week on a job. On top of that, I put a lot of energy into my YouTube channel. I've I been putting out videos pretty much every day for the last couple months, I want to say. Two, three months. I've been doing this for, going in June, to be three years. Then I got a, um, a brand that I'm working on. You know, I got other businesses that I'm working on. I don't consider YouTube a business, but I got other businesses that I'm working on. And on top of that, the kids. On top of that, the wife. On top of that, life. It's a lot of stuff coming at me. But I still have to remember to make time to wine and dine my wife. I still got to remember to stop by the store and get them flowers or send her an edible arrangement or send her a love letter. You know, I got to do things to keep the, the, uh, the love healthy in our life. 
if I go out and conquer the world and make millions of dollars, it don't it ain't gonna matter if my wife don't feel love at home. And another thing too, if I don't love myself, I'm not gonna be able to properly love her or my kids or anybody else, my mama, whoever, you know. I just want y'all to understand, man. It ain't all about money, cars, clothes, and women. Love is a key element to all of this. Without love, none of it works. And that's all I got to say about that. I'll see y'all on the next one.